But I want to take that starting line concept, what he said with finish lines, Coach Bennett and his finish lines concept. I want to take it to starting lines. And what are the things you tell yourself when you first start doing something for the first time? You know, and maybe it's the seventh time. Maybe it's the 10th time you've tried to lose those last 15 pounds. Or maybe it's the, the hundredth time you've tried to sit down and start that book. Or maybe it's the, the lost count of how many times I'm going to try and work my way out of debt. Good Sunday morning, everyone. Happy. Jan oh, <laughs> sorry. It is January. It's January, what, 8th, 9th? I don't even know, really, to be honest with you. See, the 6th, 7th. So it's the, it's the 9th now. I am, I've completely lost track of time. In fact, yesterday, I even thought yesterday was the 7th. I'm sorry. I have to apologize. I went to work on December 31st and have been working nonstop since then. Uh, except, well, no, I shouldn't say since then. Uh, and then I finally did stop on Friday. Friday was my last day of work after working seven days straight. Or was it eight days? I guess it'd be eight days, honestly. I don't know. And then the week before that, of course, I worked also. So it, it's been a bunch of weeks of work. And uh, whew, I gotta stop for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday I was off and but it was a day of just catching up on all the things you have to do as an adult that you don't get to do when you work for two weeks straight and then I stayed up late last night doing a video for coaching which is not a video you'll see here on, on my channels it's for something else but it's for coaching and then I got up probably an hour later than usual so about 6 30 this morning I normally get up around 5 30 on Sundays because I like to go for a morning run well I'm out here ta -da, doing my morning run just a little bit later than normal and you can tell the fatigue of staying up too late and the runner's high have, has definitely kicked in. I, I've got this going. We're a minute and a half in. I haven't got to the point yet. Here's the point. I use the Nike Running Club app, and this is not an endorsement. It's not a sponsorship. It's not an ad. They don't pay me if they want to. They're more than welcome to reach out to me. Contact information is below Nike. You know how to get a hold of me. Um, but in the running app that I use, there's guided runs and coach Bennett has a guided run that's new for 5k, which is, I'm running the 5k today. And he is called finish lines. And so he was thinking about the word finish line. And so as part of his thoughtful way of coaching us through our running and get us thinking about things, he's asking us questions throughout the run, um, that he leaves the line blank then at the end, so we finish the line that he provides. And that got me thinking then further too about starting lines. And we're at the beginning of the, the new year, uh, although I didn't remember that at the beginning of this video, the thought process started there. And we know, we all start talking about New Year's resolutions, how we're gonna do things different, new year, new me, blah, blah, blah. But there's so much more that goes into being successful in that. And you know, if you've watched my videos, you know my content, you know there's a lot more that goes into just saying it and doing it um, and, and the action steps and following through. But I want to take that starting line concept, what he said with finish lines, Coach Bennett and his finish lines concept. I want to take it to starting lines. And what are the things you tell yourself when you first start doing something for the first time? You know, and maybe it's the seventh time. Maybe it's the 10th time you've tried to lose those last 15 pounds. Or maybe it's the the hundredth time you've tried to sit down and start that book. Or maybe it's the, the lost count of how many times I'm going to try and work my way out of debt. You know, all those things are possible and we can do those things. But what are the things you tell yourself at the start? Is it, I've got a good plan and I'm going to see this through. I'm going to do my action steps today and plan my action steps for tomorrow and have them set for the next week. Is it, that you've gone through your the process of how you're going to do this. Do you have a plan, a structure in place that's day by day that's going to help you reach that goal? What is that starting line? Is it like, well, I hope I do this right again, or is it, well, I, I wonder how long it'll last this time me trying to do this? You know, what what is it? What is your starting line? For me, my starting line, let's go, <laughs> let's go, just go, go. You know, in Ula, in the coaching system that I coach and I live we call it ready, set, go. Because a lot of times we acknowledge that sometimes there's sort of that mental block. So you kind of ready yourself, get set, and then go. And the, the nice thing about ready, set, go is it sets you up. Ooh, sorry, I'm having to switch hands here. It sets you up when you do ready, set, go. It's almost like an automatic trigger where you know it's like, uh, here it comes, it's about to happen, boom. And there's no, there's no turning back, there's no stopping, there's no excuses not to actually make action happen when go is said. So. There's the starting line for you if you don't have one. Ready, set, let's go. <laughs> All right, have a good one, everybody.